Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back with Let's Play Vagrant Story on the PlayStation Network. Last time, we finally made our way out of the damn uh, Lost Woods Forest area that this game got going on. And now we're gonna, I think, head back into the city, as far as I can tell. So, let's leave this shithole forest behind and get back to the city. Or, underground at least, where the trees aren't gonna maybe be, make me be lost all over the place. And, damn dragons. I didn't realize you guys would be in here. Is it just my imagination or do most games that have like a... Um, well, a lot of games have like a Lost Woods type of thing going on or some place where you gotta get lost in the... Uh, somewhere. But a lot of times it does end up being a forest. Okay, yeah, okay. Our short sword has our Dragonian weapon. I think that's the one that has... Uh, Two, which we call it's two. Uh, um, yeah, let's just put the tower shield on for now. Yeah, most of the uh, like confusing areas seem to be sort or uh, forest type areas for some reason. I don't know why. It's just what they want to do, I guess. All right, short sword. Oh, that's why we're so good against dragons because we have the dragonite gems. Okay, so that's fine. Uh, do I want to put anything in my tower shield? It has to be on a weapon. Evade non-magical attack. Oh, that's actually pretty good. So that can be on our... There we go. So that means we're going to evade attacks a little more. And that's actually pretty good since enemies seem to do a pretty good job of, you know, like, never missing. There we go. Ooh, spike shield. How are you not in range? You're right there, dude. And another chain sleeve, very nice. Let's see how that spike shield looks. This uh it's only bronze class, so it's probably not as good as the tower shield we got going on here, but still not too bad actually. Wait, why does that say twenty? I thought it was eighteen. Yeah, who knows. Actually, most of the shields that I got now, except for like this uh, buckler, are all pretty good. I can't wait till we get to a uh, workshop and we combine all this stuff to actually make really good shields and weapons and stuff. See, anything to explore over here? No. That's where we came out from, right there. So I guess there's nothing over here. And this is apparently a timed room, those fuckers. You're dead. Uh, with any luck, I can kill all these guys within the. Uh... Hey, I just noticed something. As we're killing this guy, my time's not going down when I'm attacking him. It's like a. Uh... It goes down like when we're choosing, or when uh, like when we're actually swinging our sword, the time's not going down. That's kind of weird, actually. You would think that it would, but not that I'm complaining about that. That's pretty nice, actually. That gives you a lot more time than you think you have to actually kill these guys and clear the room. That's pretty damn nice. And segmentata, okay.
Yeah, because the time actually went down when you were killing those guys, and the room might be a little harder to clear, but I guess they're trying to make it easy on you. Unlike most of the boss fights, if you don't know what you're doing, then they don't try to make it easy on you at all. Ah, oh, well, we gotta figure it out, though, so we're good. No dragons? Alright, let's go in here first, and then we'll go to the other area. Uh, this better not take me to, like, some locked area. Wait, where are we? Hey, we're way out here. Okay, so there's a workshop over there. Um, yeah, we'll go over there later, I guess. If we don't find a workshop, like, in this video or the next one, then... Then I'll go off there, I'll go back there off screen or something and uh, combine my weapons and stuff. I looked up the uh, spell that you guys mentioned for, uh, for like, uh, getting around easier, like the uh, teleporting system or whatever, and uh, it's actually kind of weird from what I from what I read up on it um, it's it lets you teleport to different save points that you've been to um, and it has like a base cost of like uh, I think like 5 MP or something like that but depending on how far away the save point is that you're traveling to um, it costs an additional 5 MP per circle so like if I wanted to go from like a save point in this forest right here to the save point at like the beginning of the game uh, that'd be like 10 or 12 uh, freaking uh, save points ago, so it would cost 5 MP plus like another 50 MP just because of how far the uh, the save point I wanted to go to was. It's so it's kind of bastardly, actually. You you might not you might not have enough MP to uh, go straight to the one you want. You might have to just like teleport to one that's kind of nearby and then wait for your MP to refill and then go again. It's kind of screwy that it's not just a flat rate, but oh well. I guess they gotta nickel and dime you any way they can. I'm just glad that we eventually will get a fast track. Damn, they're really throwing these, uh, Dragons at us. Ow, that's not good for my health. Actually, we're doing pretty good. We have more than enough health. Since all my damn uh, boss rolls end up being me just getting health from these fuckers. Alright, you should be dead. There you go. Yes, he missed. That doesn't usually happen. Usually they don't miss. Alright. Uh, let's see. There's that way, and there is... Oh, this, this way is locked, isn't it? Okay. I guess that... I guess that might be from, uh... From the town, too. Oh well. I'm not too worried about going over there right now. I just want to get out of here. Actually, I like this. It's a, a lot better than trying to find your way out of that damn forest. Okay, you're locked with a gold key. There's a lot of damn keys in this game, aren't there? Um, let's go over here. I see... Um, fuck. Call me a sigil. Oh, they're sigils. I was trying to figure out the fuck those little symbols were on the ground. That kind of looked like an L, and that kind of looked like a, uh, like a really crappy drawing of an axe. But, I guess not. Uh, and holy crap, even more locked doors. That's, uh, Verbena and an enemy. 
That's a lot of locked doors in here. More locked doors? Holy crap, how many of these things are there? Marigold. And Shira. What are all these areas? Tiger Tail. And Azalea. Looks like we've got a cutscene coming up here. Not quite what I was going for, but hey, there's a. I forgot his name. Kildian. What, what is a Kildian? Spell songs. Okay. Not sure what those uh, do or what they're for, but I'm sure they'll be important later. Yeah, it's probably sustained by magic. Probably uh, spells to keep away the uh, decay and ruins. Uh, well, it must have just been knowledge circulated to the select few. Wait, what? Leomond is a book? So what, you're basically gonna transmute these guys into a philosopher's stone or something? Is that what you're trying to do here? Trying to pull a full bent alchemist? Yeah, everybody uses everybody. It's uh, well, that's pretty much how I would imagine olden times were. You use someone to get what you want, and then you got rid of them if you didn't need them, and kept them around if they were still useful. You were a wrist breaker, not anymore. You probably lost your touch. Uh, what's wrong with her? Is she blind? Wait, how the heck is she, like, uh, magically attuned to my presence? Or is she attuned to Sydney's presence? Huh, that's weird. Um, which way did we come out of? Because I'm not sure which way we came out of. Uh, okay, I think we came out of this left right here. So I'm going to go figure out what was in that last uh, the door way back here at the beginning here since we never went through it what is in all these rooms though there's quite a few of them alright the next one should be the room that we didn't explore should be right over here I think that's the one. Okay, where are... Okay, a challenge room over here. And... Holy crap! That's not good for my health at all. And you're probably like a, uh... Damn it. 
I was gonna say that guy is probably like a uh, an evil type enemy or whatever. You could be you you could actually be a, a dragon type, I would think, like a dragon gargoyle or something. Uh, let's see, Mister Gargoyle. Let's see, you are okay. So apparently, I only got one of them. Uh, they're weak to fire. Okay. Ooh, they're really really weak to earth. I think I think I got an earth uh, spell now. And yeah, okay, they're really weak to piercing and edged. Actually, they're kind of weak to everything, so it doesn't really matter. Just uh, fire or earth. So let's let's see. We want okay. If we have a good piercing, um. Actually, hang on. What type of enemy are you, anyways? You're... Okay, so you guys were evil. Okay, so that's nice. Uh, let's see. Evil... Let's see. Dagger is four. Sword is five. Sure, let's go for this sword right here. And, because that's edge, so it's still going to do a fair amount of damage to him. And then, let's see, we can put some gems there. I don't think we have any earth gems. No, not you, I want the other sword. There you go, that's the one. Okay, let's see what we can put in here. We can put in a... Uh, Ooh, there we go. Two demonias. That'll that'll actually be help out really well. Very nice. That's the one. All right. Make sure we have our sword actually equipped. Okay, that's equipped. Um, do we have any? Uh, ooh, our uh, tower shield is actually pretty damn resist resistant to evil attacks. Okay. Uh, you know what? Let's put a. Uh, Let's put a salamander gem in there because I don't want that damn explosion attack to kill my ass. Alright, so we're still reasonably good against uh, evil enemies. Got good defense against fire. Alright, we're doing pretty good. Uh, let's see if I can't cure this numbness if I still have it. Uh, let's see, where is it? Uh, there we go, Spirit Orison. And now let's... Ooh, I forgot. First, I was going to try to analyze you, but that didn't work out so well. Okay, that's not going to work out. Uh, let's just get rid of these gargoyles first by... Let's see... Grimoire Gnome? There you go, that's the one. Alright, let's clobber you. Actually, you know what, let's uh, clobber my health first. There we go. Alright, and now for you. There you go. That's gonna do a nice fat chunk of damage to you. Uh, let's see. The head is gonna be your weak point, but you have very low chance to be hit. But you don't have very much health, so that helps. And, oof, good. Items, items. You, uh. You know what? Screw it. Damn it. You and your damn numbness. I forget what numbness does. Okay, let's analyze you, though. 
no target in range, so you know what? Screw it. I want to get rid of my, uh... No, no, not you. I want to get rid of my... Get rid of the numbness first. And, crap, he might... Crap, come on, come on. Heal. Okay, yeah, I don't want to die to this little fuck. Okay, what do you got, bud? Where'd you go? You son of a bitch. Yeah, I don't even care about silence. That's just gonna kind of reduce my MP a little bit, but oh well. Or my uh, magic attack. There you go. Can I analyze you? No, I don't. Oh, okay. How come silence works on them for, uh, you know, or works on me for making it so I can't uh, cast anything? Um, but it doesn't seem to actually work on silence for those guys. Basically what I'm saying is uh, when I use silence on them with a from like a uh, from like the from like my uh, my, my uh, chain ability all it did was reduce their magical power but for me it seems to actually like make it so I can't cast spells so that's kinda screwy and you need to slow down so I can hit you there pal okay obviously you need something to screw you over This thing's got a really screwy timing. Am I still silenced? How long is this damn silence gonna last? Crap, that's not what I'm trying to get here. Uh, fuck. Okay, good. Oh, now the silence goes away, you fucks. Jeez. Could've let me heal before the damn explosion. Oh, I'd be asking it just a bit too much. Alright, um, can I analyze you now, you worthless pile of shit? Okay. Oh, sure, register my menu press after he attacks, you piece of crap. Uh... Okay, he's only got 50, M 50 HP left, and he doesn't have very much MP left either. Uh, but he is weak to... Ooh, he's definitely weak to light. Okay. And edged, but we don't really have much in the way of... Uh... Hey, you know what? Screw it. We're just gonna clobber this guy with uh, our sword here. We're, we're, doing, we're doing reasonably well. There you go, yeah, he's got very little health left anyway, so I don't even care. Alright, that should actually be the last of your MP, I think. Unless you can drain MP. Yeah, okay, so he shouldn't have a whole lot left to, uh, clobber me with. Uh, unless he doesn't even need MP for a special attacks. Cheap bastard. There you are. Jeez, that guy was a little shit. He's very mobile, and, uh... Ooh, Mandrake Sigil. Um... I don't think we had the, uh... I don't think there was a Mandrake door up here, was there? Ooh, and we can exercise undead foes. Very nice. Probably... Sounds like a... Sounds like an instant death type attack for, uh... You know, well, undead dudes. And silence, hurry the fuck up. Come on. 
Come on. Hurry up. I kind of want to heal myself here, guy, but it helps if you're not in the way. Come on. Alright, that's the door we gotta go through. And you know what? While we're waiting for the silence to go away, let's uh, just uh, rearrange my items real quick. There we go. Alright, so we got a bronze key, a crimson key, a crimson key, and a mandrake sigil. Uh, none of which where I really know where to take them. Um, do I want to go through here? Oh, okay, we can't go through here. Okay. Alright, so where the heck does this uh, Mandrake sigil go? I don't think there was any doors uh, in this hallway that had the Mandrake sigil on it. If they did, I didn't realize it. Or I didn't pay attention. Alright, so let's see, Mr. Map. Good thing about this is it actually, well, once we get to it, it'll actually say which of these uh, quarters are locked with which, so that helps. Uh, let's see. Okay, so gold key. Okay, yeah, none of these are actually locked with uh, well, the Mandrake sigil. So, oh well. Alright, we're back in town. What's so... Eh, you know what? There's a save point right here. So you know what? Ooh, what's in here? Chest key? Uh, well, how about we try, um... Unlock. Wait, what? We can't use our... Unlock chest? You son of a bitch. That's a... That's a real cheap move right there, but... Oh, well. Um, let's see. It doesn't appear to be a whole lot over here. No? Alright guys, looks like uh, next time we're going to explore the rest of this uh, underground area right here. So guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good night.